Well, welcome to Space Engineers. It's been a while since I've played this, and I got my station here. Kind of underneath the moon, and I have just rigged up a large spinny wheel using an advanced rotor, because I was going to make some sort of habitat section here. And I discovered at 16 meter long arm sections in this attempt at making a circle. I get about 8 meters per second gravity sitting on the rotor. As I can see right here on my, my display, down on the bottom left, I'm seeing 8.26 meters per second acceleration just sitting here with my grav boots on. So I was like, well, what happens if I jump? Will I land on the same spot? No. I'll land close. So let's stand on this little grid pattern thing here and jump. And then land about, I don't know, maybe a meter off. So yeah, it's, uh, the thing starts spinning beneath me as I'm jumping away from it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I just discovered a centrifugal force or a centripetal or whatever the heck. So yeah, if I had like another arm here half built with a docking clamp in the middle, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> um, I could recreate some of the space station from 2001 A Space Odyssey, but this is only like 33 meters across. It ain't that big. And I'm sure I could do some math and figure out at two revolutions per minute how much acceleration I'm supposed to be getting right where I'm at. But uh, yeah, I can just hop skip around the armature here. Of course, if I go on the outside and I jump. Well, I didn't jump at 9 meters per second, but it added to that. So, so if I go right here, the center bit, I'm standing on the center and I'm seeing very little... Uh, yeah, I only jump at like 3 meters per second, and now since I'm not spinning, everything beneath you is spinning. So yeah, it's pretty cool. That was a neat little thing I kind of accidentally discovered. I was like, I wonder if this actually works, and then, hey, it actually does, so that was pretty cool. Anywho, thanks for watching, I'll catch you all later.